interaction with two miles will affect it and is never able to get above 65 miles an hour before, before crossing just south of Key West. So uh, the key, I think, is the fact that when it got to this video line in Cuba, it wasn't strong enough. And that uh, was great news for us at the end of the day. And, and that's what made things a lot of our lives uh, a lot easier in South Florida. Because we got the sights right that we always thought we would. And we got those windows, and you're going to see those in just a little bit. So you're going to have all that information as to how hard or how strong those windows have been here in South Florida. Uh, but uh, at, the, again, at the end of the day, it was the sights right that we had forecast. 60 mile an hour highest sustained wind right now on Isaac as it's passing, uh, about to pass Key West's longitude and headed to the Gulf of Mexico. Now, in the Gulf of Mexico, it should definitely have an opportunity to uh, strengthen. It won't have to deal with uh, terrain of any kind for a couple of days. So, over open ocean, it will have over those warm waters a chance to strengthen and it could become a Category 2 hurricane. And that's the forecast now from the National Hurricane Center that it could strike. Uh, well, as it, as it looks here, near the Luxembourg, Mississippi, um, on Wednesday, late night Tuesday, Wednesday, early morning, as a Cat 2 hurricane. So the hurricane watch is in effect for portions of, of the central and the northeastern Gulf Coast. And the chance that this will be actually a hurricane when it makes nightfall is currently set by the National Hurricane Center at 59%. So we're almost in the clear as far as the center, or tracking the center from our perspective. We're not in the clear as far as the tropical storm conditions. Still a bit crazy out there, some strong dust. And earlier today we had very, very strong dust. And for that, I think we're going to go over to Sherry's here right now so she can get us a summer.